Welcome back YouTube once again, Fortress Bid I here. Now today's episode will be a Perka Cola Emblem video. Now this one is number four out of the series. A speed Cola, or Sleight of Hand Soda, as you may also know it as. Anyways, for the first layer, uh, it's a round square or square foil, it doesn't really matter too much. Either way, the scale has to be by X and Y 47 just so it fills the screen. The colour will be zero mix of red, zero mix of blue, but 51 in green. Then after that, you got three layers of warped checkers. Now both X and Y scale will be at six. Uh, the first one we placed at minus 63 on the left hand side. What I forgot to do in a video, and uh, you could do right now, is flip. All of these have to be flipped. Anyways, the colour will be base green. So 255 green, zero red, zero blue. And the first one will be minus 63 and you're going to copy that and you're going to make it 137 for the right hand side however because it won't match up you got to put the Y position minus 20 or minus 22 um, it's just whichever one seems good for you anyways and then you're going to copy that and you're going to put it at 179 Y positioning so it looks like it's underneath so it fills the whole thing Opacity on all three of these layers will be at 15. Now layer 5 will be a round square in the center. It will be 65 X axis in scale and minus 50 in Y. X and Y positioning will be the same as 0. The opacity is 15 with same again as the other warp checkers is 255 green, 0 red or blue. Now afterwards we have three paintball layers, so just get the first paintball layer and you have a scale of X and Y and you're going to change that to 15 and you're going to change the opacity to 50. Colour will be white and after that you're going to copy it and you're going to change the rotation twice. One is 114 and the second time will be 277, kind of straightforward. After that you're going to have uh, another layer for layer 9 called fade. Fade will be for the bubble effect. Anyways you're going to have rotation at 270 with your opacity at 20. Now the first one will be minus 16 by 17 in position. You don't change nothing in the scale and you're going to copy that and you're going to move it to the right hand side at positive 116 and then after that you're going to copy both those two layers and you're going to press the square button I think it is and you're going to toggle the outline now in terms of color the layer 9 and layer 11 will be 255 white with uh, no, with transparency as the second color in a gradient the gradient will have no rotation 50 on the slider and with the layer 10 and 12 which will be the colored ones which you copied from the left and the right you're going to change the first color to green just like the others where it's no red no blue and then the second color is also transparency now for the 13th layer you're going to get a round square and you're going to put it to 65 by 18 in x and y scale the opacity will be set at 50 with a gradient at rotation 90. Now with this, the first colour will be 0 red, 0 blue, but 153 green. The second colour will be completely black, so it's 0, 0, 0 on all the colours. The layer 14 will be a full circle. Now we're going to actually start making the actual Perca Cola uh, little label. The scale will be at, set at 5 for both X and Y. And the colour will be have a, having a gradient at rotation 38, with a gradient slider set at 95. The first colour will be complete white 255s, and the second colour will be at mid grey at 160 for all three. You're going to copy that and you're going to shrink the colour to uh, X and Y axis at 2 in position, not, I'm sorry, in scale. And you're going to change the rotation to 54 of the gradient. Now the first colour will be 5, 118, 10. This will be the base green that you would have for the whole label. The second colour will be 5, but 59, 7. And then this will be the light to dark kind of tone in the middle. 
you're going to copy that and you're going to set the color back to solid and it's going to be 192 for all three color mixes and the scale is going to be changed to minus 19 as you can see there you're going to have the inner as a white you're going to copy that again and you're going to make it minus 23 this one is going to turn back on the gradient and the rotation is going to be at 52 gradient sliders to keep it at 50 the first color will be complete white 255 the second color will be a mid-tone 192 for all three color mixers for the 18th layer will be the round square X will be at 0, Y will be at minus 9 in terms of scale it will be at minus 46 X axis minus 74 Y axis in scale the color will be the base green 5, 118 10. This color will be used mostly for the emblem, so please remember that and it will be a lot quicker to do. After that, I'm going to be making a pyramid. This one's going to be at the bottom of the round square at X position 0, Y position 38. The scale on the X axis will be minus 44, whilst it's minus 87 on the Y axis. The rotation will be at 180, so it's upside down. The colour will be the same as the one above, and then after that you're going to copy these two and you're going to shrink them down. So the round square, it's going to still be 0 at minus 9 in terms of position. However, for scale, it's minus 50 to minus 80, and you're going to set the colour to pure white. After that, the pyramid would also like to do the same. At 0, 36, X and Y positioning, with minus 48 and minus 91 scale. Rotation is still 180 because it's still upside down, and but you're also going to turn that color to white. As you can see in the video now, there's a white inner in between the outer, and then you're going to make it again for the actual perk design. Okay, so you're going to copy them again, and you're going to shrink them down. So for the first round square, instead of minus 9, it's going to be minus 7 on the white position minus 58 and minus 88 scale going from x to y first and the color will be 5 118 10 this will be the typical green like i keep repeating the pyramid will be at 0 and 33 x and y positioning minus 57 x scale minus 100 y scale the color will be the same type of green after this we can get in the lettering what I like to do is have letter 0 or letter O and shrink it down to minus 165 in both X and Y uh, scale. After that you can copy it several times and change the rotation little bits and move them into its position and it's a lot easier that way. The color for all text will be white and it will be the same basis as going to the same pattern in terms of rotation. So anyways, let's start with the first one, the letter S. This one, X axis will be at minus 76, whilst Y is minus 25. The rotation will be at 290. Now, if you don't know, you can have all of these with O's, and you can press Y. After, not, don't select on the layer, just press Y, and you can actually change the actual layers itself. So instead of O, you can change it to F or O or S etc and I know I said why it could also be triangle I, I'm switching to PlayStation so sorry for messing that a little bit anyways for the second letter the letter L will be a minus 70 to minus 37 position the rotation will be changed at 300 and it's gonna keep going up in tens letter E will be at minus 63 by minus 49 with 310 rotation Ah, uh, pardon me. Letter I will be minus 53 by minus 60 position with 320 rotation. Letter G will have 330 rotation, letter H 340, and letter T 350. It goes in a pattern by tens for the top half. Anyways, going backtracking, letter G will have minus 42 X position with minus 68 Y position. The H will be minus 29 by minus 74, and T will be 15 by minus 78. Now to do the other side, the right hand side, or of hand in terms of text, 
Letter O will be 15 by, 7, by minus 78, and the rotation will be set at positive 10. For F will be positive 20, with X position at 29, with Y position at minus 74. Now the last set of letters will be uh, 40, 50, 60, and 70 rotation. So for H, it will be starting off for 40 and it will progress and so on. So H, X position will be at 53, whilst Y will be minus 60. A will be 63 by minus 49. N will be 70 by minus 37. And D will be 76 by minus 25. Now in terms of uh, text, soda is going to go in a, a progression of 12. So the first one will be minus 27 by minus by positive 76 x and y positioning with rotation at set at 18. You're going to copy that and you're going to make it minus 9x with 80y and you're going to change the rotation to 6. And then once you copy this you're going to have the opposite side so it's going to be 9 to 80 rather than minus 9 to 80 and then 27 to 76. The rotations for letter D will be 354 and letter A will be 342. Now after that we are actually going to do the actual perks design. So we want a scribble at minus 9 and positive 18 position. The x axis in scale will be minus 110 and scale on y will be minus 78. Rotation will be set at 326 and the opacity will be set at 20. The color will be default solid at complete white so it's T55 and all the mixes. You're going to copy that scribble and you're going to move it to minus 4 to 24 position with minus 1 to 6 x scale with minus 94 y scale. Rotation is still staying with 3 to 6. After that we're going to have layer 43 called for hand. You're going to move this x position 3, y position 2. Scale will be both at minus 66 with rotation of 319. The opacity will be set full 100 with a colour as white. After that you want a round square and the position will be at, set at 20 to 28. In terms of scale it's min minus 148 by minus 227 with a rotation of 316. The colour will be white and then you're going to copy that and you're going to have the wind suck. It's going to be set in 11x with 0y positioning and the x and y scale is going to be both 158. The rotation will be set at 35 with the color being white you're going to copy this and you're going to paste it and you're going to have the rotation shrunken not rotation shrunken, you're going to have a scale shrunken to minus 168. The scale will be 205 and it's going to be placed at position 27 by minus 4. After that we have a round square minus 11 to minus 9 and then after that in terms of scale they're both minus 118 with a rotation at 317. This will be the, the default green that we have mix of red is 5, mix of green 118 and mix of blue 10. After this we are going to use four tubes. These tubes will be for fingertips. Uh, the first tube will be 0x with minus 17y. The scale will be minus 170 by minus 151. Rotation will be set at 158 and default color will be white. You're going to copy this and you're going to keep the same scale for the second one at layer 49. However, x will be minus 18, whilst y is positive 5. With layer 50, you're going to change the scale a little bit by minus 174 by minus 140. Um, you're going to have this position at minus 16 by minus 6. Now, I just remembered that I've mistaken with rotation. Layer 48, the rotation will be at 158. 49 will be at rotation 126 because I forgot to say it and then this layer will be at 133. 
just making sure that no one gets left out with that rotation because I forgot to say it because I'm trying to rush through all this commentary to be truthfully honest anyways for the last tube that we have it will be minus 8 and minus 14 position with minus 176 x scale with minus 135 y scale rotation will be set at 143 and then after that we will go back to the wind suck and it's going to be set at 18 to minus 6 position with minus 158 x and y scale rotation will be set at 35 now I can't remember exactly too much which layers are flipped or not during this uh, document so try and check the video out and see if things aren't missing or just if something doesn't look right try and see if that would actually work out if you flip it or not because I truthfully can't remember everything but I've tried my best for layer 53 we're going to be starting the magazine I believe with uh, X position 0, Y position positive 1 with scale is minus 159 by minus 81 rotation will be set at 47 and the color will be set at the green 5, 118 and 10 and that is also the color with the wind suck beforehand just because I forgot to mention because most of this is white so I just forget color after you do that round square you're going to copy that and you're going to shrink it to minus 172 by minus 85 rotation and position will stay the same however color will be switched back to the default white which I keep assuming now with this you want to copy that and you're going to change the X and Y scale to minus 300 by minus 105 position for the first one of these two will be at 3 by 5 and once you have that you're going to copy that and you're going to change the position to minus 2 for both X and Y axis now with this being 5, 1, 1, 8, 10 color we have kind of edge lines for the magazine in our hand now after this point it's all shading so layer 57 will be a full circle with X and Y scale at 5 the opacity will be set at 14 however this color will be at a gradient the slider will be at 50 rotation at 33 the second color will be transparent and the first color will be complete white you're going to copy this and you're going to paste it and you're going to change the colors the first color will be transparent the second color will be complete black you're going to change the opacity and the black will be opacity 40 after this you're going to have a circle outline not a full circle just making sure because I made that mistake on my double tap video the X and Y scale will be set at 2 and the opacity will be set at 20 the first color will be white and the second color will be black the rotation will be at 28 with a slider at 50 after this we have a quarter circle going around and one white and three of them are black so let's do the white one first with 255 color we're going to have minus 40 X and Y scale but we're going to have minus 48 X and Y positioning the opacity will be set at 3 after that we're going to copy it and we're going to have a rotation at 180 trying to do the complete opposite side now, so we have minus 40 scale still but the X and Y position will be at 50 by 51 and we're going to turn up the opacity to 12 once you've done that, copy it twice more and the opacity will be changed to 5 to both of them. Now layer 62 will be 54 by minus 45 position with rotation 94. Whilst the other will have rotation 267 placed at minus 46 by 52. 
after that you're going to make a one more full circle with minus 20 scale the opacity will be changed to 30 and you're going to change it to gradient with gradient the first color will be white and the second color will be transparent the opacity for the color will be 30, slider 50 and the rotation 164 now I've rushed this commentary because it is a long time just to set up one of these videos as I mentioned before and I don't have all the time in the world this week and I'm trying to rush out three videos so all of you guys you know ain't missing out on anything but whilst we have time waiting for the video to catch up I would like to just say something so for me I would have a vlog video once every month I've had one October, I've had one November, and I've had a few uh, beforehand, however back then it was, I was off and on with a YouTube channel thing, I was still growing. But for December I've purposely delayed it, and almost two weeks in, and I still haven't done the vlog. Reason being is, I'm going to announce it to you guys right here. I'm having my own YouTube based controller. I am ordering a PS4 controller with my own logo and I've got some other things on the controller just to make it look nice and I've ordered that uh, late October. Well recently it's just been shipped because I've ordered it from a US site because they've, you know, once I emailed back for a personalized controller rather than a controller lab because I wanted my own original logo on it. So this controller will be one of a kind. And I'm going to make a video of when I get it and I'm going to be showcasing what the controller looks like and give my own opinions about the controller if they've made it good enough compared to the concept I've sent them. But yeah, that's why I haven't done any vlogs, because I'm hoping that it comes before Christmas, or at least before January, and I can get a vlog video with the controller. That's what I'm hoping. Anyways, hope you guys enjoy Speed Color, and I'll see you guys next time. If you haven't seen already, see the Perk Beta video, or look on the document down below, and look at the Perk Beta Origin layers. It will have a perfect in-between layers for each of the Percocola emblems so it is easier to make multiple of them. I really do recommend it and I'll see you guys next time.